Hello everyone and welcome to the Real Estate Daily with the House Heroes. My name is Troy and every day we go over the latest news in real estate, mortgage and the housing industry. Today is April 14th. Almost the day before taxes are due, I think they're pushing it out because tomorrow is considered a little bit of a holiday because Easter is Sunday. So it looks like on the 18th will be tax day, but this year we had an additional three days. I was hoping the federal government would push it out a little bit further, but they haven't announced that yet. So it looks like the 18th will be tax day. So it's a light mortgage day because I think everyone, you know, in all the different newsrooms decided, hey, let's take this day off too because we're surely taking tomorrow off, right? And Monday's the hangover day from the entire four, three or four day weekend. So let's jump right into it and CNBC here. It says bankers lower their mortgage demand outlook for the year as rising rates hurt affordability. So we're seeing Diana Olick, our infamous and famous Diana Olick, talk about how we are still over $2 trillion in mortgages, but they expected a lot more coming out this year. But since the Fed has raised rates and mortgage companies have raised rates so aggressively in the first quarter that now they're thinking there's going to be less homes sold. But I have news for you right now, at least in Southern California, we haven't seen that happen. We're still seeing record lows in inventory and everything kind of just flying off the shelves and selling. And a lot of that is selling over asking. So we're seeing it, but we're not going to see it in a huge amounts. We actually need more inventory. Then we can kind of consider maybe just maybe we'll see things a little more balanced between buyers and sellers. Next article also is from CNBC. It's mortgage rates are rising. Here's why your credit score matters and five ways to improve it. If you really want to take a look at this article, I would definitely recommend it. It's today. It was published today at 9.29 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6.30, let's call it, this morning. You know, as, as time goes by, you know, in the last 10 years, we're noticing that FICO scores are so much more you know, uh, involved in your, in the credit process and in the, the purchase process and the mortgage process. So everybody needs to really work on it. It's, it's literally a matter of hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars, you know, a month or a year because your FICO score is lower. Your credit scores are lower than they should be. So everyone working on, working on that, especially if you're looking at a home and if you have a plan at least three months to six months in advance, take a look at your credit score, pull it, and then see what you can do with the mortgage lender on what things you can do to improve it. Obviously making payments on time is, is number one, you know, not having too much credit open, not too much, not, you know, asking for too much credit is, a, is another, but more importantly, how do I raise that credit score? How do I get some of the balances down? Things like that. Make sure you have a plan in mind prior to buying a house. Next article here is from the Wall Street Journal. It says mortgage rates hit 5% for the first time since 2011. They're a little bit behind. As we talked about, a lot of mortgage rates that are being you know, produced out there by these, these news outlets and these media, social media outlets you know, are all over the place because they use different kinds of metrics to figure out what the national average is. So here's another, another example of now the, the, com the country's catching up and, may, and seeing that we're just rolling past 5%. And then uh, here's a, a home wire, housing wire article here. It's uh, some lenders won't survive the purchase market uh, mortgage purchase mortgage market of 2022. We know this. We knew that so many people just just FOMO'd or came in into the market, you know, two or three years ago. Let me make the quick buck. Let me get out. I have no customer service. I never met my client. We've seen that time and time again. Today, demand that if your mortgage lender is out there and you're actually looking for a home, he should be meeting with you face to face. He should care that much to meet with you face to face. I literally want my mortgage lenders to do it, but they refused. They were got they got lazy over the last few years. But I would I would meet them face to face. If you want a relationship with them, great. Otherwise, I, I've said this to so many mortgage lenders. The last two, three years I've done, you know, triple digits in closing of homes. And guess who the buyer call the seller or the owner calls to get a refi? They call me. I saw him face to face. I'm the trustworthy person. I'm not the guy over the phone that kind of fumbled through the whole loan process, didn't make the phone calls back. No, I'm the one that they trust. I'm the face of the transaction. So when I, when I say this in all sincerity, 
you know, this is why a lot of loan companies will not survive the next 12 months here because there's going to be so many less loans going through their, their system. They can't handle the overhead and they will disappear. And that is a good thing. Consolidation in this, in this is a good thing. It takes, the, it takes what I consider the garbage out and it puts it on the street and let the trash man pick it up with lenders and real estate agents. So, and then the last one here is the Optimum Blue Black Knight, Black Knight being one of the biggest, largest companies out there going over interest rates. And again, we're pretty happy to see that we're stabilized for the second consecutive day. The 30 year conforming conventional is just staying right there at 5.12, 5.15, right around there. We did see a little bump in the 15 year and the 30 year jumbo, but not anything dramatic. And then the 30 year fixed, even though it kind of floated down, we just can't get below that 5%, which we're hoping for. But at least it's stabilizing. We're not seeing these big explosions. But then again, we haven't heard a Fed governor egotistically open their mouth and say that the, the entire economy is, is doing fantastic and that you know inflation's out of control and we should be you know raising rates and, and selling treasuries like crazy. So we haven't heard that. Hopefully they're all tucked away for the Easter, vac you know, Easter vacation here and we won't hear from them until the first week of next month when they meet and they discuss what actually, you know, the amount that they're gonna raise the uh, overnight interest rates. Well guys, thank you very much for joining us. Hit that like button if you like this. If you uh, wanna know when we drop these videos, hit the notification button we can, we'll, you'll definitely get notified. Again, I try to keep this under 10 minutes, make this a quick mortgage news, mortgage and real estate news for you. And then if you have any comments, please leave it in the comment section. We're more than happy to go over that with you as well. Otherwise you have a fantastic day and I will see you tomorrow, the last day of this week and then Easter vacation. Take care.